Hi again, and thank you for spending some time with me today. I'm sorry about the state of these tresses. <laughs> I've just finished doing a hair treatment for a review that I'm doing on my other channel, on which I am way louder than this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of just letting this air dry, and so I don't know what to do with it. So it's just going to be there. <laughs> but that has nothing to do with um, what I'm going to do here today. I Before I start anything, I just want to say a great big thank you to those of you that have subscribed to my channel. It always feels so good to be supported, and um, it's always nice to see those numbers go up and see more people interested in it. It's, well, it's very gratifying. So thank you very much for that. Thank you to those that have commented, especially on my introduction, introductory video, <laughs> which was very short, but um, I thought it was pretty good and to the point. <laughs> and if you're interested, I'll link that below as well. But um, thank you to those that posted comments and also gave me some ideas of what other things I could do uh, on this channel. Special thanks to words and paper ASMR who left me some really good suggestions, uh, one of which I'm going to do right now with this haul. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> um, this is my birthday month and so I've been getting um, a lot of presents here and there and as I'm up in cash so I've been able to go shopping so this is kind of like a collective haul of things that I've gotten. And um, I thought it was kind of funny before I sat down to film this because <laughs> I'm really excited about a lot of these things. So I thought, I think it's going to be really hard for me to keep my voice rather soft-spoken for some of these things. <laughs> I have a tendency to get very loud when I'm excited <laughs> about something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see. I'll do my best. Uh, but anyway, let's get on the haul so I can show you all the um, awesome things that I have been gifted and that I have bought for myself and uh, I hope you enjoy okay let's go let's go <laughs> sad okay so I'm gonna show you my little bag it's got this lovely crinkly paper and to just love that sound. I know I do. So let me start. You know what? I'll just lay everything out here. So, ooh. <laughs> so that I'm not going to crazy and obnoxiously loud with extra noises here. But, um, I am so excited for all of these things. <laughs> and I know they're just makeup, but they're fun for me. And, um, fun is the best thing to have, or at least that's what Tigger says. And, hey, um, I'm not going to turn up my nose at that. Okay, so I think I'm finally ready here. I'm going to show you one of the things I've been waiting to get for a long time. Because this is a pricey item. And I'm not... There's not a lot of extra cash. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and so when I got a little bit of uh, birthday money, I kind of pulled it together so that I could buy this. It's a perfume. Um, it's by Maison Martin Margiela, Paris. It's called Replica. And they, they do these wonderful scents. Um, Replica, not meaning that, not meaning that they are going to uh, try to make a, a dupe for any other famous scent that is out there. Um, rather, that they're trying to replicate a feeling or an experience. 
um, something like that, which is kind of innovative, at least I think so, and it sort of caught my, my mind and my imagination, and I really wanted to smell them, and they have a whole line of these, and they range from, um, what's the other one I like? It's called, um, Lazy Sunday Morning. Oh, it is just beautiful. It's, um, soft and airy, and feminine without being overly sweet. I tend not to like anything too too sweet. It tends to give me a headache. So um, I, I love this line and this is my favorite. I'll try that again. Nickel, nickel, nickel. How's that sound? So this one is called Beach Walk. And I have no idea how to describe notes, <laughs> especially for scents, <laughs> um, so I'm not going to try. But I have no idea how they do this, <coughs> but they have somehow captured the scent and the feeling of being at the beach in a perfume. And I, oh, I just absolutely fell in love with this. And I have smelled other perfumes that claim to be um, something to remind you of the beach or to, uh, I guess, j just make you think of the beach. But they end up just smelling more like sunscreen, <laughs> which does remind me of the beach. It certainly does, but it's not as a smell I actually want to have on me all the time, especially because a lot of people don't find that very pleasing, so it's not <laughs> not something that I want to wear every day. But this one, I, I have no idea how they do, but it's like they have, y you smell the sand, the surf, the air, it's like going down a boardwalk when I wear this guy. Uh, and so every time I go into Sephora, I go to the perfume section and I give myself a couple of spritzes. <laughs> and <laughs> just so that I can smell it. And then I'm just happy for the rest of the day. It's one of those things that just releases some endorphins. And I'm, I'm just in a good mood. So I finally got my own little bottle. And I'm so excited for it. Because... Now, I get to do that at any time, not just when I have those rare moments where I can go shopping or just go window shopping. Um, and it came with this little tube thingy, and it's cardboard. Um, which was weird, but I didn't realize that these don't actually have a cap. They come like this. And there's no cap that goes over top, which, okay, thought that was interesting. Um, but, oh, shoot, I, ju I can't help it. Oh, just, how do they do that? How do, you, how do you bottle the sand and surf and sun? I don't know, but I love this thing. And it comes in this beautiful glass bottle. And... I mean, it's not your typical girly packaging, but somehow to me, this feels like a lovely blend of feminine and masculine. The, the bottle itself, I find to be more of a masculine take on packaging, uh, but the scent inside is so soft and girly and beautiful that I just, I love it. I absolutely love it. Everything about it aesthetically completely pleasing for me inside and out so I love that that was like my most favorite thing that I got <laughs> and that I just got today so thank you mom and dad for giving me my perfume it's so sweet of you <laughs> even though they had no idea that's what they were getting for me <laughs> okay so now for some makeup stuff I'm going to show you some things that I got, um, and these were actually a Valentine's Day present, as I had no idea what I wanted, and <coughs> until the very 
the very, like, February 14th. Until the 14th, I had no idea what I wanted. And then I realized, I know exactly what I want. Um, Gabriel Cosmetics is a, um, it's a vegan, all-natural, cruelty-free, um, brand. And they have, within their brand, a line of makeup called Zuzu Lux. And my daughter's name is Zuzu. So, I couldn't help but be absolutely drawn to that line simply because of the name and I knew that it was all natural so these are all things that I, I figured would be very gentle and probably wouldn't have a reaction to I'm not I don't have like extremely sensitive skin per se so um, that wasn't really a deciding factor it was just a happy happenstance I guess I should say so I'll show you those things I got a uh, liquid liner. <laughs> Where's the camera? <laughs> Carla, focus. focus. <laughs> I'm telling myself not the camera. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this is a liquid liner. It comes in a nice plasticky container. Really good. It just has a brush tip. It looks like I'm making my nose. <laughs> okay maturity level has just decreased notwithstanding <laughs> I, I like it I'm actually wearing it today you can see that little wing there I'm kind of new at doing eyeliner I've only been sort of trying to get the technique done within the last year or so <laughs> so not perfect but I'm, yeah, I'm getting there I'm, I'm happy with my progress, let's just say that. <laughs> so, uh, this is the first one uh, that I picked up for myself because uh, the first time I tried Suzu Lux was years ago. And I tried their mascara and I really enjoyed that. So, but at the time that I made my order, I had a whole bunch of other mascaras to go through. So, I'm like, I don't want to get too many things that I'm just not going to get to. So, got this. I also got um, their brow pencil in mink. And it comes with a little spoolie, little brush on the end, which is nice to comb out those errant little hairs. <laughs> And it's just um, a regular brow pencil, semi-waxy, not too waxy, not not too dry. Um, it's okay. It tends to smear a little bit on me when I wear it. Um, and this is more of a chocolate brown. So. Um, okay when it comes down to it um, I'm not in love with it it's not my favorite but it's also you know not the worst thing I've ever used um, the top end has this little metallic case that um, whatever neither here nor there <laughs> uh, I just like it that at least one of the ends is see-through so you know which <laughs> What, what you're getting, <laughs> especially early in the morning when you're, you know, half asleep and you um, barely know your name. So it's nice to know which end you're grabbing if you're going to use something. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Let's put that away. <laughs> Carefully now. <laughs> okay, so this one is my favorite thing that I got from the Suzu Lux line. And it's this little eyeshadow. It's called Absinthe. And this is what it looks like. My camera is not great for capturing color. It is a very light um, sage sort of color. You can even see it on my finger. <laughs> not really. Anyway, it's a really pretty color. Uh, it kind of blends into my skin tone, especially with these lights. But anyway. This little plastic um, 
container packaging, I should say. But it's sort of it's a frosted it's a frosted front, so it makes it look a little bit more high end, a little bit more luxurious. Hence lux, I guess. <laughs> I catch on quick. No, really, I just okay. So that's that. My other eyeshadow that I've just been absolutely loving for more reasons than just simply a makeup product is from Colourpop. It's this uh, maroon um, shimmery shadow. You can see there's some little flecks of gold and silver in there. It's absolutely beautiful and I love it. This comes in this little plastic pot is everything else but the reason I love it so much it's because it's called Porter and my son's name is Porter so <laughs> I have Porter and I have Suzu on my eyeballs <laughs> all the time as per usual <laughs> so I've been loving these two um, especially together which was kind of a happy coincidence as well so, um, I guess since there are no accidents in the universe, it was simply meant to be, and I was simply meant to have them. At least I'm going to tell myself that. So, shh. Okay. What else did I get? <laughs> okay, um, these two things I've been wanting for a long time, and they're kind of hard to come by here in Canada. Um, and they're certainly not as affordable as they are in the States. Bummer. But, whatever. <laughs> you do what you can, right? Oh, this hair. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Okay, so anyway, what I'm talking about <laughs> is the LA Pro Concealers. Um, and actually these are just the correctors. I got the orange and the yellow. I would have gotten the green, but of course they were sold out of that one. What was this? I don't know. I like making grandiose hand gestures apparently. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, yeah, these are the correctors and uh, wow, when I first got these they were pretty scary because that orange is orange. They are not kidding. And so is <laughs> this yellow. It's super bright. But I did put them on today and especially under my eye where I do get a uh, my under eye <laughs> where I do get some darkness um, this was amazing at cancelling that out and just some spots my foundation looks absolutely flawless today <laughs> because I these were un these are underneath just um, covering little spots here and there and I actually have some remnants of old um, pimples <laughs> why was that word difficult? I don't know old pimples because of my skin tone uh, even if I don't do anything with the pimples as in popping them or fiddling around <laughs> with <laughs> um, anyway let's not go into that that's kind of gross but yes so since I don't tend to be aggressive with my skin I still get a lot of scarring and the scarring is dark and it takes a long time for them to go away so uh, yay <laughs> anyway but the orange one does an amazing job at concealing it and it's just this little plastic squeezy tube with um, brushes actually it's a brush applicator. I'm not squeezing any out right now just to show you it's a brush but otherwise it's just a little plasticky thingy. And then the uh, yellow corrector which is for brightening. Uh, yeah I'd have to say that has certainly <laughs> been successful. <laughs> I just I look like I'm glowing and I am all for that. <laughs> Uh, youthful and glowy. That's that's my thing. It's my motto. It's what I live by. No, no, it's not. <laughs> but anyway, 
Yes, so this was a pleasant surprise too and I know in the States you can get these for like around $2.99, something like that, three, three bucks I think max, <sighs> which would be nice if I could find them for three bucks. However, not a big complaint because I found these uh, for $5.99. Um, oh gosh, and I forget the website now. I think it was like nail polish something or other. I will find it and link it in the information box if anyone is interested. Because, uh, yeah, these are absolutely great. There is a ton of product in here. Okay, I just, I just hated myself a little bit. Because I don't like it when other... <laughs> YouTube people say, oh, there is a ton of this, or I've been using this a ton. It kind of drives me insane. Because it's not actually correct. <laughs> and I'm a little OCD about that kind of stuff. So I just, I just hated myself a little bit there. Yeah, yeah. So let me just tell you how much product there actually is in this, if I can. This is incredibly small. Oh, it's right in the front. Oh no, I'm with it. I'm on it. Uh, let's see, eight grams, eight grams of product, and you need so little. And I'm not just saying that. I know a lot of beauty people here on the YT say the word a little goes a long, or the words a little goes a long way. But really, seriously, you need a tiny little bit. So, eight grams of product for six dollars for however long these are going to last me I'm okay with the price even if it is jacked up here in Canada <sighs> that's okay I'll get over it so very happy with these so far now this is something I just got recently as well and I can't tell you how much I, <laughs> I just absolutely love it and I didn't jump on the bandwagon right away when this product came out and YouTube was kind of blowing up with info on this stuff um, everywhere pretty much and everybody was loving it and oh it's so wonderful it's so amazing and mm -hmm, I, I'm a bit of a skeptic <laughs> so I am I'm like yeah okay yeah sure it's it's wonderful and what it is, it's a foundation. It's the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. They were right. What can I say? This... It is the most natural finish I think I've had for something that is so unnatural like foundation. That I instantly fell in love with it. I was in the store and on a whim I just thought, oh, I didn't have uh, foundation on or concealer or anything. I had only done my eyeshadow because I love doing my eyeshadow. Can I say? <laughs> Some things you just don't give up. <laughs> so I had done my eyes. Um, I wasn't even wearing lipstick, I don't think. I just like had lip gloss on and I thought, okay, let's see. If what's the big deal about this foundation i'll get one of the girls to color match me and um put it on and i'll wear it and see how i like it and i'll just prove to myself that it's not that great well it came home with me so needless to say i fell in love with this little man and I have no idea why my makeup is mostly male, but they are. Um, this guy is just gorgeous on the skin. It just like, I'm wearing it today. And it's just flawless, just flawless. And I know a lot of people say that. And I mean, on camera, it's way more forgiving <laughs> for, you know, bits and bobs that you might want to conceal and hide. I get that, I do, but look at myself in the mirror and um, and it looks just as good, <laughs> like 
Oh my goodness. Okay, I can't leave it. So, yeah, I got it today. Not today. <laughs> I got it recently. And I have it in one of the colors that I, I would never have guessed. But the girl was so good uh, at Sephora at matching me. Um, that I'm super surprised. I am in natural beige. Um, and I'll leave that info down below as well. I am... Hmm. Let me see, uh, what can I give you as a basis? Normally in MAC, I'm between an NC40 and an NC42, depending on whether it's winter or summer. Um, in um, NARS Sheer Glow, I am uh, Stromboli. And let's see if I. If give you a drugstore. I think my um, my L'Oreal um, Pro Matte I am I think I'm Golden Caramel Caramel Beige Caramel Beige I think Golden Beige. One of those two. <laughs> okay. Maybe don't use that last one but anyway the <laughs> MAC and the NARS are those are my colors so, um, you have to get natural beige. I would have never thought that I would be this color. But here I am. Anyway, comes in this, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this uh, many times. Pink and black packaging is very girly. And yeah, can't say that I don't like that. And it comes in this frosted bottle with this sort of um, dusty gold ring here at the base of the cap. This part is glass and of course this is plastic here. Comes with a pump. <laughs> yes. I don't waste this product because now it's become a little liquid gold for Carla. She likes. So much so she speaks in the third person. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Another big favorite for me. Okay. <clears throat> Something else that I've just picked up recently in the last few days um, was a uh, new mascara because now I've gone through a lot of my old stuff and so I needed a uh, new mascara. Oh, goodness. I look like I'm naked in this thing. I'm not. I'm wearing a shirt. Trust me. This is not... Let's do this. There we go. <laughs> now I feel better. I feel so exposed. <laughs> Alright, so I got my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara, which is hands down one of my absolute favorite mascaras. I love this. I've got it in carbon black. Um, and it has this little skinny wand. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I think it must be the time of the day. Okay, so it's got this little skinny wand. I really like it. It gets right into the lash base. So it's easy for me to pull this through all the way to the ends of my lashes. And it's easier to do your bottom lashes with this one. It gets right in there without smearing or smudging or any of those terrible things. That are just a crime against beautiful makeup. So it comes in this little plastic container that looks like a little telescope, which is adorable. I appreciate that. But the surprise one that I got is from Wet n Wild, um, Max Fan Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara. This one here comes in this beautiful, like jewel purple, purpley reddish. Actually, on my camera, it shows really purple. It's more like fuchsia-y, actually, <laughs> to me. Anywho, I've got this in black. I believe it's not called anything but... Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, it is black. It just says C140A. Okay, whatever. But it is a black mascara. I love that sound. 
Okay, I'm drying out my mascara. I'll stop that. <laughs> but it's got this funny wand where it's curved and then it flares out at the end. And the whole idea is that this will grip your lashes and then pull them out so that you can have that cat eye effect with them. And um, I love it. I actually really like the formula. I love the wand. The... Uh, who else does I think it's L'Oreal as well that has the butterfly one which has a similar wand to this um, it's got the flare bristles on one side and then the small little ones that you can get right into the base or your under or your bottom lash ones um, they have a similar one but it's not like this one has a little bit of give but it's not as flimsy as the other one and the other one used to be a favorite for mine too, of, of mine too Ah, words are hard. Um, yeah, it used to be a favorite of mine as well. But uh, I find that this one is a little bit more sturdy, has more support and control, and I like it better. And this one is only like five dollars. I got this at uh, Walmart. So yeah, a five dollar mascara that works that great. And it does, it works really great. The formula is not too wet, not too dry. So, it's, it doesn't clump or smudge all over the place. I really have a tough time with smudging and this does not do that, which is so nice. It doesn't flake, so I'm not finding bits of it down here, which is always a pain in the butt. Um, I hate it because I hate you know, having to rub this area. You know how the skin here is way more sensitive. <laughs> so I hate anything that makes me rub at my eyes. So this doesn't do that. So uh, this was a great find for me. I love it. It has instantly become a favorite and I will definitely be repurchasing this baby. Okay. Uh, my last product that I wanted to show you is something I've been wanting for a long, long time. <laughs> And again, it's one of those things where everybody was going crazy for it. Everybody was um, doing reviews and videos and comparing this to that. And, uh, well, it's a pricey item. I'm just, just going to put it out there. Like I, you know, I, I ain't rich. I don't have some extra mula lying around. I would love to have lots of dinero, but I don't. <laughs> I want to buy something. I like I put a little bit of effort into it, and um, and I wait. <laughs> I wait to see what the final outcome is because a lot of times, what I find is people go crazy over some stuff, and then I end up finding that same thing that they went crazy over in their things I regret buying videos, and that just drives me insane. Because you know that they did their whole raving video like a week after they bought it when they're still in love with it and in their honeymoon um, phase with the product that they have so it drives me nuts uh, I actually do appreciate those youtubers that do take the time they um, spend more than a week using a product or some of them oh my god some of them only do a day and that, that just drives me insane that's, that's irresponsible shame on you um, I like the ones that actually take the time and use it for like a period of yeah, a month. I would say is a fair, uh, it's a, it's a fair length of time to know how you feel about a product. So what the hell am I talking about? I'm talking about the uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Contouring Palette, and this is the uh, cardboard packaging that it comes in. Just a regular box. I love the design, actually, I just, uh, something about it that is just pleasing. So it comes like this, oop, upside down, <laughs> comes like this in that sturdy cardboard, uh, typical packaging that Kat Von D has. I have, um, other palettes of hers, uh, eyeshadow palettes, um, that I really love. So, and this is what it looks like. Oh, big mirror. This is what it looks like. 
and it's got you know what I'm not gonna go into it because there are a million and a half <laughs> uh, videos on this palette so I'm not gonna go into it I'm just gonna say that uh, I just <laughs> I just got it recently haven't had a chance to play with it so I can't say that I absolutely love it I'm just happy to have it <laughs> so that is my little collective haul for today I hope that that was enjoyable and I didn't get too loud because I know like I said when I get excited about something <laughs> the volume tends to go up and um, yeah <laughs> anyway yes so that was that's it that's all I've got for now so thanks again to uh, Words and Paper ASMR for your suggestion. I really appreciate it. So I hope that you found this uh, relaxing at least, <laughs> if nothing else. Thank you again. And thank you to my new subbies. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. And again, any suggestions, ideas, comments, um, I, I do appreciate all of those. So, uh, thanks for spending some time with me today, seeing all my fun toys, and I will talk to you again soon. Have a good night.